welcome to the Hyde Park episode of The Grid. I just got off of the Metro. Hyde Park is about seven miles south of the Chicago Loop and it's very easily accessible by train, also by Lakeshore Drive. We're gonna learn about art, we're gonna learn about music, we're gonna learn about the people, the food, and culture of Hyde Park. And of course, we're gonna try to cover what to do, what to eat, and where to shop. Tell me about this art center. We are Contemporary Visual Arts Center, but we also function as a community space. We are free, open to the public. We have an uh, on-site school. We have a whole education program that includes an on-site school, free teen programs, professional uh, programs for artists. So Hilash, let's talk about the synergy between Hyde Park and art. So the great thing about being a free art center is that anyone can come through the door. And they sometimes come to see the exhibitions, sometimes come for classes. So people are having conversations here all the time, sometimes about the art, sometimes about politics. If you go into the cafe, uh -huh. Bridgeport Cafe, you'll catch anyone talking about the Obama Presidential Center, <laughs> about politics in Hyde Park. There's always hubs of energy and dialogue happening in this space. It's kind of this mix of all these different kind of people, some, in some cases economically diverse, completely racially diverse, all butting up against each other. And, and not always in a cohesive way. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, that it provokes them to have dialogue. A lot of neighborhoods are having really uh, authentic discussions about gentrification. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really present in Hyde Park. There's a lot of buildup of places like 53rd where there are, uh, a lot of the community is pushing back and saying, well, what's going on? This is, ra this is happening really fast. Um, I think it's good that the community is growing. But at the same time, I'm glad that there's a group out there that's pushing back against it and talking about what are the proper ways to grow and what does it mean to be invested in community? What, it means, what does it mean for you to come into our community? Well, you can't come to Hyde Park without talking to the jazz lady. I'm meeting her here at the Sit Down Cafe and Sushi Bar. This is one of your favorite little spots. It is. It Why is. do you love the sit-down restaurant so much? Uh, it's it just has a charm that's uh, uh, it's open, it's bright, and the food is terrific and very reasonable. One of your nicknames is Jazz Lady. Yeah, I know, and I love it. <laughs> and that's in large part due to the fact that you co-founded the Hyde Park Jazz Festival. Correct. This will be our 12th year, and. I, I'm elated by it. When we started it, it just clicked. It was the right time, and we really worked hard to make it a festival that people would love. And they did. And how many people come out to the festival? We'd probably get about 20,000. 15 to 20, depends on the weather. How do you feel about helping to keep jazz alive? I always say, no, 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 no. We are not keeping jazz alive. Thank you. We are keeping jazz live. And that, and because jazz is not dying, jazz is absolutely alive. So I popped into Maury's. It's been here for over 50 years. Different owners, but continuously been serving corned beef sandwiches for 50 years. So I had to get one, and also a lottery ticket. I won $2 but I lost two dollars. Mm. Wow, I'm just taking a moment to take in this gorgeous view of the Midway Plaisance, part of the Chicago Boulevard system that connects all of our beautiful parks and also our museums, including the DuSable Museum, which is a must go to when you come to Hyde Park. Let's go check it out. Would you have wanted to be raised anywhere else? Oh gosh, no. There's no place like here. It's unique, the, the diversity, um, the history. Absolutely, all of that. Uh, such rich diversity here. We have just such love for our community. It's so unique. Uh, it's so rich on a cultural level. Um, it, it's just, it's special. It's like no place else. Here, the University of Chicago has been an anchor, mm -hmm. uh, obviously a major employer, but also an anchor. Um, it's a very intellectual neighborhood. It's again, very diverse, both racially and economically diverse, uh, which is is what makes it so great to have the DuSable Museum. Tell us why, mm -hmm. more than ever, mm -hmm. the DuSable Museum is so essential oh and gosh. important to the Hyde Park community. We are the oldest independent black museum in the nation. We're the best, most authentic, 
tellers of the black American story. Uh, and we serve a purpose that, as you say, is more important now than ever before. Um, so educating all people on African American history and art and culture and using those as methods and means to tell our story, mm -hmm. to kind of reclaim our narrative. We have some amazing world-class institutions right here on the South Side. And so we've kind of gotten together and created this Museum Campus South concept, which includes Museum of Science and Industry. Mm -hmm. It will include the wonderful Obama Presidential Center yes. when it opens in a few years, the DuSable, the Smart Museum of Art, the Logan Center for the Arts, uh, the Renaissance Society, the Roby House and Roby Foundation, and the and the world-renowned Oriental Institute. So there are a lot of cool things about Hyde Park, but one of my favorites is just the amount of green space that's here in the neighborhood. One of my favorites is Osaka Garden inside Jackson Park. It's really peaceful and tranquil, and you can clear your head and listen to your inner voice. And of course, I've got to talk about the shopping. My personal favorite in Hyde Park is Modern Cooperative, which is an awesome mix of old and new. I like this. I need this in my life. It's a birthday gift. I'm very late. Why do you love Jack Grill so much? Uh, the oxtail. Okay. That's what I love. It reminds me of home. Um, essentially, it's one of my favorite things growing up as a kid was oxtail. Oh, wow. This is it. Oh, wow. Perfect yeah. timing. This oh, is thank the you, oxtail. Yeah. Wow. So this is how it would be served in Jamaica. Yes, I'd be served. Well, this is what I love about Hyde Park. It's just like the melding of all types of cultures. Yeah. The diversity. Yes. You can find a little bit of everything that you're looking for. Yes, you can. And you found your home here. I did, I you did. Love, you love living in Hyde Park? I do, I absolutely love that. That's pretty good. <laughs> so I know we just left Jack Grill, but I couldn't come to Hyde Park without going to the original jerk chicken restaurant. Of course, that is Uncle Joe's. And I have to tell you, this chicken is outstanding. It is the place to be in Hyde Park. Before I grab some delicious food, I'm gonna go upstairs and check out the music venue. Come on! So Jake, let's talk about the history of music and Hyde Park and how that's kind of fizzled and you're really providing a venue for that, live music. Well, um, before Urban Renewal, there were clubs and bars all over Hyde Park, all over the South Side, and there's a lot less. I mean, they really changed the landscape here. To be able to bring that back for the older people, but also for younger people, you know, to hear house music, to hear R&B, to hear jazz and poetry. Um, we do the moth here, you know, like not to have to leave the neighborhood to have experiences like this, people really appreciate it. To have food of this quality and to be able to go out and dance, you know, most nights of the week and hear live music, like every generation that's here seems really ready for this. We've had unbelievably talented chefs here, but one of the best talents that they've had is to adapt to what people want, you know, like not to compromise the incredible food that people are gonna get, but to make sure that the incredible food they're making is what people want. It's been a long, fun day. We've learned a lot, we've seen a lot. I have this delicious catfish in front of me. I'm here at the promontory in my favorite spot where I can see the hearth and the executive chef and all the other chefs cooking. It's been an awesome day and I'm ready to eat. Until I see you next time, we'll see you on the grid. To find all of these places we highlighted in today's video, head to the Chicago Sun-Times website. See you next time on the grid.